right all right everyone uh, assalam alaikum i'm so sorry because of the conditions we could not have our proper classes but we have arranged this online session to uh, last class tak hum logo ne uh, marginal costing ke andar contribution ka concept margin of safety ka concept and as well as we discuss about the concept of break even analysis break even chart profit volume chart discuss kar liya tha humne which is also called contribution to sales chart uh this particular class is designed to work on the practice questions so hum kuch selected practice questions that start karenge so if you have your section b along with you agar aapke paas apni section b hai to section b ke andar marginal costing start ho raha hai with from page number 299 right the first question is on page number 301 we will solving page number 301 everyone but before we formally begin our session i want all of you to raise your hands if you can view me and you can listen to me clearly just raise your hand guys raise your hand everyone Akhyan, Afifa, Afnan, raise your hand if you can listen to me. There is an option of raising a hand. Just raise your hand if you can listen to me. All right. Let's formally begin with the question. This is page number three zero one. It's page number three zero one of your workbook section B. Marginal costing question number one. All right, guys. Let's start with the question. But before we formally begin with the question, just put a header on page number three zero one. This question is relating to morning and evening shift. You can put a header. It's question relating to morning and evening shift. All right. Sorry for the interruption. We were marking attendance. Uh, so after the attendance, now we can formally begin with our session. It's workbook number two, section B, chapter marginal costing, page number three zero one. This is relating to morning and evening shift. Let's start. Gala manufactures DVD players which sells for dollar eighty each. Now, dollar eighty is our selling price per unit. Production is one fifty thousand units per annum, all of which are sold. That means currently the output level is one fifty thousand units. I'm currently one hundred and fifty thousand units manufacture or produce. Kar rahe, and all of these units are sold. That means there are no leftover inventories. Unit cost at that level of production. That means is sara data per unit data given hai. And how many units are there given hai? at output level of one fifty thousand units? Each single unit requires direct material cost of dollar forty, direct labor of dollar eight, variable overheads are dollar ten, and fixed overheads are dollar eleven. Material labor and variable overheads are all the variable cost. These are all the variable cost, right? Material labor and Variable overheads. These are the cost. Our variable cost. These all are our variable cost. And fixed overheads. We have per unit given. 
Remember the fact whenever fixed overheads are given on per unit basis, multiply the fixed overhead with the current output level of 150,000 units. So we can calculate our total fixed overheads. 150,000 into 11, our total fixed overheads are 1,650,000. It's 1,650,000. 11 multiplied by 150,000. That makes 1,650,000. Calculate one year's total profit or loss. The profit calculation is easier. We can use multiple different techniques to calculate profit. One is to use total revenue minus total cost. The other is contribution per unit into output level minus fixed cost. We can calculate the amount of profit. We will be using the contribution technique, selling price. What was our selling price? That was dollar eighty less variable cost. And what is our variable cost? Eight plus ten plus forty. Forty plus eight plus ten. That makes fifty-eight. The contribution per unit comes to twenty-two. This is contribution per unit. Multiply with the output level. And what is our output level? Currently, we are producing 150,000 units. Contribution per unit into the output level, the total contribution would be 3,300,000. That is 3.3 million. That is 3,300,000. We can call it as 3,300,000. ,300 Minus the total fixed cost. Don't use per unit fixed cost. Minus the fixed cost, and what is our total fixed cost? Minus total fixed cost. Total contribution minus total fixed cost is going to give us the profit. And what is our existing current year's total annual profit? What is our total annual profit? It's 1,650,000. Total annual profit is 1,650,000. We contribution per unit techniques to solve this. The other alternative presentation is also allowed. You can do total revenue minus total cost. Se bhi kar sakte hai, right? You can do profit per unit multiplied by output level. Se bhi kar sakte hai. Profit calculate karne ke, there are different methods, different techniques. We find this particular technique more suitable, more acceptable. Therefore, we have used this concept of contribution per unit. To calculate the total amount of profit. Moving ahead, the sales manager believes. Our sales manager understands that if the selling price is reduced to dollar seventy-five per unit, currently we are selling a unit at dollar eighty. But if we reduce our selling price and we come to the selling price of dollar seventy-five, five dollars. If we reduce our selling price to dollar eighty, we are seventy-five dollars per unit. We can increase our demand, and instead of selling 150,000 units, we can actually sell 50,000 more units. That means our demand 150,000 se shoot up karke 200,000 units per chali jayegi. We can sell a total of how many units? 200,000 units. Now selling price ko reduce karke, we can demand level ko to increase kar sakte hain. But do we have sufficient capacity available to produce these extra 50,000 units? In extra 50,000 units to produce, karne ke liye kya hamare paas sufficient capacity hai? Do we have sufficient capacity available to produce these extra units? So the existing production of 150,000 units is based on single day shift, working full day without overtime. Full day ka matlab hum apni full capacity par kaam kar rahe this 150,000 units output level is our 100% capacity. Right now we are using or working at our full capacity to produce these 150,000 units. So the additional 50,000 units ki demand emerge ho sakti hai due to decrease in selling price. Usko hum kaise satisfy karenge, sir? How are we going to satisfy this increase in demand? The sales manager believed that an evening shift might also be introduced. So we extra time, extra production to produce 50,000 additional units to produce karne ke liye. We are going to introduce an additional shift and this is going to be evening shift. This means right now we were working in the morning shift and we have to cope up extra demand to cope up additional 
the sales manager believed that an evening shift might also be introduced using one third of the workers employed on the day shift. अब हमें तो नहीं पता कि हमने day shift में कितने workers employ किए हैं. But day shift में जो workers हैं वो कितना output produce कर रहे हैं? One fifty thousand. उसी का अगर हम one third labour force शाम में employ करेंगे तो one fifty thousand का one third कितना हो गया? That makes fifty thousand. So additional hours may evening ke under we can work and we can produce the additional fifty thousand units, right? One fifty thousand ka agar one third calculate kare, so jitne bhi x number of labourers hum employ kar rahe the morning me, uska one third labour force hum additional employ karna padega evening me to produce this additional fifty thousand units, right? This would mean an annual total two hundred thousand units would be produced. Now two hundred thousand units kaise produce ho rahe hain? 200,000 यूनिट्स दो शिफ्ट में प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं मॉर्निंग में हम कितने यूनिट्स बना रहे हैं इवनिंग के अंदर भी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द एडिशनल फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यूनिट्स यूनिट्स दैट मेक्स ऑल टूगेदर 200,000 units. Two shift में काम होगा. Morning में 150 units बनेंगे and evening के अंदर 50,000 units. As a result of the changes, the following could take place. The following would take place. To compensate for unsocial hours, evening shift worker would be paid an additional dollar two per unit. That means worker जो morning में काम कर रहा था अगर हम ऊपर जाकर देखें direct labour cost for morning shift worker was dollar eight per unit. इवनिंग के अंदर अगर हम आएंगे इवनिंग में अगर हम लोग आएंगे तो इवनिंग हम लेबर कर देंगे तो हमारी एट प्लस टू कितनी हो जाएगी टेन डॉलर रात का वर्कर रात में बहुत कुछ सेक्रीफाइस कर रहा है उस चीज को कॉम्पनसेट करने के लिए हम लेबर को पर यूनिट आई रिपीट नॉट पर आवर पर यूनिट टू डॉलर एक्स्ट्रा देंगे राइट नाउ द वेज रेट इज एट पर यूनिट इवनिंग के अंदर इज गोइंग टू बी टेन पर यूनिट Variable overheads for the evening shift would increase by ten percent. Probably electricity, या फिर दूसरी cost हमारी जो है variable related indirect cost evening में आगे चलकर दो हमारे पास ten percent से increase हो सकती है. Morning में right now हमारे variable overheads are ten per unit. So evening के अंदर is going to be eleven per unit. Ten का ten percent is one. So ten plus one, the total variable cost, variable overheads for evening shift would be eleven per unit. Economies of scale mean that a discount of fifteen percent will be received on purchase of all direct material, all direct material, irrespective कि हम दिन में unit produce करें, morning में करें या evening में introduce करें, produce करें. On every unit, he will have material saving of because we are going to purchase raw material in the bulk quantity. तो बल्क बाइंग पे हमें डिस्काउंट मिलेगा एंड द मटेरियल कॉस्ट विल रिड्यूस फ्रॉम डॉलर फोर्टी फोर्टी का फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज वॉट इज सिक्स फोर्टी माइनस सिक्स दैट मीन द वेरिएबल मटेरियल कॉस्ट वुड बी डॉलर थर्टी फोर पर यूनिट फोर्टी माइनस सिक्स इज गोइंग टू बी डॉलर थर्टी फोर पर यूनिट इन रिस्पेक्टिव वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द आउटपुट इन मॉर्निंग और इवनिंग हमारी पर यूनिट मटेरियल कॉस्ट वुड बी डॉलर थर्टी फोर पर यूनिट फिक्स कॉस्ट इंक्रीज बाय वन मिलियन ना फिक्स कॉस्ट हमारी पुरानी फिक्स कॉस्ट कितनी थी दैट वाज वन मिलियन सिक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड इवनिंग शिप इंट्रोड्यूस करने से हमारी फिक्स कॉस्ट वन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड से इंक्रीज वन मिलियन से इंक्रीज होगी दैट मीन्स द टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी वन मिलियन सिक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस वन मिलियन दैट मेक्स टू मिलियन सिक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड Again, all units produced will be sold. That means there will be no leftover inventories. Now, calculate the additional profit or loss. If we move towards the requirement, the requirement states that calculate the additional profit or loss. On the introduction of new shift, इसका मतलब हमें incremental profit निकालना है. Additional means incremental. 
existing profit kitna tha what is our existing profit it was 1,650,000 right guys ab agar aage chal ke hamara profit 2 million ka ho jata hai to what is our incremental profit it's going to be 350,000 aage chal ke hamara profit 1700,000 pe chale jata hai to incremental additional profit kitna hoga that is 50,000 so now different presentation ke zariye hum is cheez ko solve kar sakte hain to make it easier we would be categorizing our statement right we would be categorizing our statement in two categories morning shift and evening shift right one is our ms which is morning shift and the other is evening shift and we will be preparing one column for total as well so we can divide our statement into three columns morning evening and total morning shift evening shift total right dollars everything was going to be in dollars no selling price irrespective ki hum ek unit morning mein beche ya evening ke andar selling price hamara kitna hai sir selling price hamari reduce ho gayi hai 80 se kam ho gayi it's now 75 per unit 75 per unit less variable cost variable cost is the state dikhaya tha break up the variable cost mein bhi aap direct material morning mein unit banaye ya evening ke andar direct material cost hamari kitni ho chuki hai sir so 40 thi 15% se kam ho gayi 6 dollars se kam ho gayi 40 minus 6 what is our variable direct material cost is now 34 irrespective we are making production or we are producing the unit in morning or evening it's 40 minus ya yeah, 40 kaam directly 85 portion le le that is 40 mein se 15 portion minus kar diya to per unit material cost is 34 direct labor direct labor morning ke andar direct labor kitna hai sir it's 8 and evening mein direct labor kitna hoga 8 plus 2 that makes what 10 वेरिएबल ओवरहेड्स मॉर्निंग में वेरिएबल ओवरहेड्स वर 10 एंड इवनिंग में वेरिएबल ओवरहेड्स आर गोइंग टू बी 11 तो अगर हम सेलिंग प्राइस में से सारी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट माइनस करें इफ यू पुट द ब्रैकेट्स ऑन द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द इंडिविजुअल कंट्रीब्यूशंस ऑफ मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग शिफ्ट मॉर्निंग का कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट इज व्हाट इट्स 23 एंड इवनिंग के अंदर द कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट इज 20 these are contribution per unit do different tarike ka output level hum produce kar rahe hain dono units bikenge to ek hi selling price par but wo differently contribute kar rahe hain multiply with the output level contribution per unit into output level and what is our output level sir it's 150000 for the morning shift and it's 50000 for the evening shift multiply the output level the contribution per unit into output level will give us what total contribution pehla total shin agar hum calculate kare 3 into 150000 that makes 3450000 Do start twenty into fifty thousand. That makes one million. Total contribution is now four million four fifty thousand. Fixed cost total में से minus कर दें because specifically mentioned नहीं है. Total contribution हमारा calculate हो चुका है. Double lines लगा देंगे. Now everything would be relating to total. Less total fixed cost. पुरानी fixed cost कितनी थी? Sir, पुरानी fixed cost को increase नहीं करना. Per unit eleven थी. क्या two hundred से नहीं बेटा? 
fixed cost will not increase it will be 1,650,000 that was the old fixed cost plus 1 million so what is our total fixed cost it's 2,650,000 It's 2,650,000. The total profit comes to 1,800,000. This is our total profit. Total profit. But are we required to show the total profit or the additional profit? Sir, it's additional profit minus existing profit. What was our existing profit? The existing profit was 1,650,000. So the incremental or the additional profit comes to 150,000. So additional units produced, what is our additional profit? Sir, it's 150,000. Got it, guys? Got it? You can check out the workings and before we proceed, we will move towards question answer session. We'll move towards question answer session. If you have, have any query, use the chat box to ask any question. Feel free to ask the question. Guys, if you have any queries, if you have any problem, use the chat box to please come up with the questions. If you find any working difficult, if you have any confusion, any problem. All right. Uh, Mois Navid says, no queries, all right. In case of output level, we use the additional addition in units, but why not in direct labor and variable overheads? Uh, I would like to give Hamad Hussain a speaker. Uh, um, I would like him to please use his microphone or something like that. Speaker use karke please apna point. But I am, I am unable to understand what you are actually trying to ask. Please come up with the question. Hamad Hussain. Hamad Hussain, kindly speak up, beta. Uh, what is your problem? What is your uh, your question aapne like pucha hai wo clear nahi ho raha what do you really want to ask the contribution per unit ko jab hum output level se multiply kar rahe hain to we use 50000 instead of 200000 to humne yes. direct labor mein 8 kyun nahi likha aur variable overhead mein why didn't we use because humne usko divide kar liya hai do categories mein we are producing different output in the morning hum different quantity produce kar rahe hain morning mein aur evening mein different quantity produce kar rahe hain evening mein we are producing 50000 the additional units and morning may we are producing the old 50, 150,000 units. So morning may our cost relatively variable costs come here. So we are earning higher amount per unit contribution. And evening can there because our variable overheads and labor costs zada hai. So jo output hum evening may produce kar rahe ho, say we are earning lesser amount of contribution. So just activity se hume jitna contribution mil raha hai, hum usi output level se usko multiply karenge. You got okay. my point? Yes, sir. Got it, Hamad? Yes, sir. Hamad, are you clear on this thing? Yes, sir. Pakka? Ji, sir. Yani, pakki baat hai? Ji, ji, sir, aagya thamas. All right, thumbs up. Any other queries? Any other questions? The participants are increasing. If you have any queries, the baat kushir aaya wa hai yaan par. Ibad is there. Yes, Ibad, if you have any queries, any problem, use the chat. Civilization, if you need to ask anything better, just, just raise your hand, use the chat box. No queries. Ibad says no queries. What about, what about civilization? Civilization, do you have any question, any problems? So, so far, so good. Yes, we have 
No, sir. Maruk says no, sir. All right. All right, everyone. I hope so. You have no problem in this question. An easier version of the question. Let's move on to the next requirement now. The next requirement is other factors. Other factors need to be taken into consideration before introducing the new shift. Now, other factors kya ho sakte hain? Kuch factors, financial factors hote hain, but other factors may include uh, ke agar humne selling price kam ki hai, to humari competitor ki kya strategy hogi? Right? Agar competitor ne humari selling price ko kam kar diya, to it can, we can move towards the price war. अब हम तो फाइव डॉलर से कम कर रहे हैं बट हमें देखना पड़ेगा कि कॉम्पिटेटर हमारी स्ट्रेटेजी को कैसे अडॉप्ट करता है इफ इज ऑल्सो विलिंग टू डिक्रीज द प्राइस तो क्या हमारी डिमांड वही रिस्पॉन्स शो करेगी जो हम अज्यूम कर रहे हैं राइट राइट केट्स तो हमें कॉम्पिटेटर मूवमेंट को भी देखना है कॉम्पिटेटर मूवमेंट रिलेटिंग और कॉम्पिटेटर रिटालिएशन रिलेटिंग टू प्राइस डिक्रीज कॉम्पिटेटर रिटालिएशन रिलेटेड टू प्राइस डिक्रीज और क्या फैक्टर्स हो सकते हैं सर रिलायंस ऑन द आउटसाइड सप्लायर जिससे मटेरियल खरीदना है क्या वो टाइमली बेसिस पे हमें मटेरियल प्रोवाइड कर सकेगा हाउ मच रिलायबिलिटी वी कैन शो ऑन अवर सप्लायर्स राइट हमने डिस्काउंट को तो एडजस्ट कर लिया है कि ऑब्वियसली बल्क बाइंग पे वी विल बी गेटिंग डिस्काउंट बट विल द सप्लायर बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड अस विद द टाइमली डिलीवरीज ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल can be showed reliability on our supplier jaise aap mere par reliability dikha sakte hain guys ki aaj school band hai college band hai lekin masiya aapko yahan par online padhane ke liye bhi available hai ab baaki schools ke andar main aap logo ko bataun ghar pe baith ke padha raha hu online lekin aap logo ke liye i am right now in your library so you can actually rely on me but can you reply rely on your supplier क्या आप अपने सप्लायर पर रिलाई कर सकते हैं कि वो आप फैमिली बेसिस पर रॉ मटेरियल की डिलीवरीज प्रोवाइड करेगा एंड व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स सर रात में वर्कर काम कर रहा है तो मोराल एंड मोटिवेशन लेवल ऑफ द लेबर फोर्स नींद सेक्रीफाइस कर रहा है बहुत कुछ और सेक्रीफाइस कर रहा होगा लेबर तो रात में उसका मोराल एंड मोटिवेशन लेवल क्या है मोराल एंड मोटिवेशन लेवल ऑफ द लेबर फोर्स एंड और दूसरे फैक्टर्स क्या हो सकते हैं सर सोशल फैक्टर्स हो सकते हैं राइट सोशल फैक्टर्स अब अगर से फॉर एग्जांपल आपको कॉलेज या दिन में ऑपरेट कर रहा है वो क्या हम रात में भी चलाएंगे भाई तो रात में दिन में तो न्यूसेंस होती है रात में भी न्यूसेंस हो जाएगी राइट तो सोशल फैक्टर्स सच एस नॉइस प्रिवेसी पोल्यूशन इन फैक्टर्स को भी हमें देखना है All right. So, हमें कितने फैक्टर्स डिस्कस करने थे तीन uh, मैंने आपको चार लिखवाए याद आपने दो रखने और लिखना आपने एग्जाम में जाकर एक ही है राइट right, किडोस डन है गाइस सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन वी विल बी मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द सेकंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन नाउ All right, kids. We are done with the first practice question. Now we will be moving towards the second practice question. Uh, sequence story si change karni padegi, right? Uh, the second question we are going to solve would be page number three one three. It's deba C page number three one three on your section B. Uh, it includes the concept of contribution plus break even and profit volume chart. We will discuss karenge. I have given you homework. Maybe karne ke liye diya bata ye question, right? So. अगर आपने किया हुआ है चेक आउट कि आपने किस तरह है हम उसको जल्दी सॉल्व करेंगे इट्स पेज नंबर थ्री वन थ्री जून टू द अक्टूबर नवंबर टू दिन पेपर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन के अंदर भी यही क्वेश्चन है
तो दिस इज डिबसी डिबसी करंटली प्रोड्यूसेस जल्दी करना है आप लोगों ने सॉल्व भी किया हुआ होगा डिबसी करंटली प्रोड्यूसेस 1 यूनिट द फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल सेलिंग प्राइस डायरेक्ट मटेरियल डायरेक्ट लेबर वेरिएबल ओवरहेड फिक्स कॉस्ट 120 एंड आउटपुट अवेलेबल इन डिमांड और सेल्स इज 200000 ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट कैलकुलेट करना है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग द कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट एंड हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट सर इट्स सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट selling price minus variable cost per unit will give us contribution per unit selling price is 6 variable cost is 2.5 plus 1.4 plus 1.1 that makes 5 per unit 6 minus 5 what is our contribution per unit it's dollar 1 per unit break even ke liye this is total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit Total fixed cost is one twenty thousand divided by contribution per unit is one. Therefore, break even in units is one twenty thousand. But in sub units, many I am say value may be pucha hua hai, right? So value ke liye we know break even in units multiply by selling price se ham in value calculate kar sakte hain. Dusre methods bhi hain jisme fixed cost divided by CS ratio se bhi ham answer calculate kar sakte hain. but since we have the whole number break even in units we can use break even in units multiply by selling price which is 120000 units multiply by selling price of 6 so very uh, that means break even in value is break even in value is 720000 dollars the next is profit for the year showing contribution per unit selling price hame pata hai it's 6 selling price is 6 minus variable cost is 5 contribution per unit is 1 multiply by output level what is our total output level total output level is 200000 so 1 into 200000 what is our total contribution the total contribution comes to 200000 less total fixed cost what is our total fixed cost is 120000 the total contribution minus total fixed cost of 120000 the current profit or profit for one year or profit for the year is $80000 next part may we need to calculate margin of safety in units and as a percentage of sales the margin of safety in units ke liye total output minus break even level of output or you can say existing output minus break even level of output or you can say current output minus break even level of output which is 200000 units minus break even units is 120000 units so what is margin of safety in units margin of safety in units is 80000 units it's 80000 units margin of safety in units per value mein nikal lekin percentage mein bola hua hai margin of safety as a percentage of sales so margin of safety in units divided by total sales in units into 100 we can calculate margin of safety in value the margin of safety is 80000 divided by total sales is 200000 in 200 that makes 40% that means hamara margin of safety hamare total output ka total sales ka 40% hai next is prepare the contribution to sales graph using the chart below for the current product d946 show the profit at current sales level now maine aapko bataya tha profit volume chart mein guys hum y x axis ke upar units bhi le sakte hain aur sales and value bhi le sakte hain yahan units hain to hame units plot karne hain ab agar hum apna scale use kare 200000 hamari total activity hai तो अगर हम चाहें तो 40 40000 पे स्केल बना सकते हैं 40000 यूनिट्स 80000 यूनिट्स 120000 यूनिट्स एंड 160000 यूनिट्स एक्स एक्सिस के ऊपर हमारे पास आउटपुट लेवल है दैट इज 40000 80000 120000 160000 एंड 200000 यूनिट्स राइट 
नेक्स्ट वाई एक्सेस के पॉजिटिव रीजन पे हम प्रॉफिट प्लॉट करते हैं तो हमारा मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट कितना है दैट इज एटी थाउजेंड राइट तो अगर हम चाहें तो यहाँ पर भी स्केल फोर्टी फोर्टी का ले सकते हैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का भी ले सकते हैं लेकिन बेटर टू यूज स्केल ऑफ फोर्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर एंड एटी थाउजेंड डॉलर क्योंकि मैक्सिम प्रॉफिट हमारा कितना है एटी थाउजेंड then negative region pe hum loss pe jayenge and what is our maximum loss the maximum loss is equal to fixed cost because kisi bhi business organization ka maximum loss normal circumstances mein is equal to its fixed cost kyunki wo zero activity pe firm sirf kya pay kar rahi hoti hai zero revenue per zero activity per zero variable cost per we are paying for the fixed cost which is 120000 to negative region par bhi x y axis ke negative region pe bhi humne लॉसेस ले लिए और वो भी स्केल फोर्टी फोर्टी थाउजेंड के हिसाब से लिया फोर्टी एटी एंड वन ट्वेंटी सो नाउ वी कैन यूज टू एक्सट्रीम पोजीशंस और टू एक्सट्रीम पोजीशंस हमारे पास क्या है कि सर जीरो आउटपुट लेवल पर वी आर मेकिंग अ लॉस ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिस इज अवर मैक्सिमम लॉस का पॉइंट मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट कितना है टू हंड्रेड के ऊपर वी आर मेकिंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सॉरी एटी थाउजेंड 200,000 units pay our maximum profit is is 80,000 now hame in dono extreme points ko aapas mein connect karna hai aur is tarike se connect karna hai ki jahan par line x axis ko cut karegi wahan par it should be passing through 120,000 right it should be passing through 120,000 because we are sketching this thing aap isko modify to us kar sakte that the line should cross at 120000 because this is break even activity and what is our profit at current activity current activity pe profit is how much 80000 Clear guys, you can adjust your workings. You can adjust your. हम यहाँ पे free hands से sketch कर रहे हैं, right? तो थोड़ा सी figures या थोड़ा सा sketching में problem आएगा, but make sure कि आपने line को ऐसे cross करवाना है कि it should be crossing at one twenty thousand units. Right, kiddos. Let's move on towards the question answer session. Yes. Any queries? Any confusion? Any problem, guys? Guys, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. बड़े अच्छे बच्चे हैं भाई कोई confusion कोई problem नहीं है. Anyone? Anyone with the questions? guys all right no queries no problems let's move on let's move on towards the next part Basi is standing two additional products. That means right now we were only producing D nine forty six. Now we are planning to introduce two new products. One is nine forty seven, another is nine forty eight. The fixed cost would double to two forty thousand. Right now fixed cost one twenty here. मैं एक नया product market में introduce करूँ या मैं दोनों products market में introduce करूँ मेरी fixed cost double हो जाएगी तीन प्रोड्यूस करने पे 
हमारे <coughs> मैं 946 के साथ सिर्फ 947 बनाऊं मैं 946 के साथ 947 948 दोनों नए प्रोडक्ट्स इंट्रोड्यूस करूं माय डिमांड विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड मेरी डिमांड में चेंज टेक प्लेस नहीं होगा द एग्जिस्टिंग वर्कर इज करेंटली ऑपरेटिंग एट फुल कैपेसिटी इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ D946 दैट मींस हमें दोनों प्रोडक्ट रेंज को इंक्रीस करने के लिए नए वर्कर्स को हायर करना पड़ेगा डिबसी डिसाइडेड टू एक्सटेंड द प्रोडक्ट रेंज विद बोथ द एडिशनल प्रोडक्ट्स हमें दोनों प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोड्यूस करने हैं नए प्रोडक्ट्स 946 के साथ 947 और 948 कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट डिबसी कुड अचीव इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर इफ इट वर टू प्रोड्यूस 946 947 948 क्लेरी शोइंग कंट्रीब्यूशन पर प्रोडक्ट तो हमारे पास तीन प्रोडक्ट्स हैं हमें टोटल प्रॉफिट भी निकालना है तो हम थ्री कॉलम्स बनाएंगे 946 947 948 and we will also be making one additional product one additional column and that is going to be a total column continue with the working everyone continue with the working we are also solving it but please do it for your own do it at your own solve it
All right, kiddos, uh, moving on towards the working, we have three products, 946, 947, 948. So the selling price is six, minus variable cost is five, contribution per unit is one, multiplied by total output of 200,000, therefore total contribution is 200,000. Product 947 may, selling price is lower than the variable cost, that means contribution is negative 1.5. To the output level of 50,000, so there is negative contribution of 75. Total is 200 minus 75 minus 90,000. That makes 215,000. Less total fixed cost. And what is our total fixed cost? TFC means total fixed cost. Existing fixed cost was 120,000, which is now doubled to 240,000. 120 plus 120. Double ho gai yes sir. A teen product produce kare, do kare, hamari fixed cost double ho gai. So that this additional, ya total profit nahi hai, it is now total loss, which is 20, which is 15,000. 215 and 240,000, it's 15, it's 25,000. Total loss. So, we are profit of one product, we were making a profit of 80,000. Now, by introducing two new products, our profitability is converted into a loss of 25,000. Next part. <clears throat> Based on your calculation, advice the see whether or not to go ahead and produce all the three products, give reasons for your advice. So, advice would be the see should not extend the product range. As the overall profit of 80,000 is now converted into a loss of 25,000. Debussy should not extend the product range. Debussy should not extend the product range. As the existing profit of 80,000 is now converted into a loss of 25,000. Record point we like sakte, and also one of the product is negatively contributing, and also one of the product has a negative contribution, and also one of the product has a negative contribution. Now we will be moving towards the next question. And easier so now we would be doing the next question, guys, and it's page number 350. It's page number 350. It's page number 350. Let's move on towards the recording first. We can use the camera. All right, kids. Uh, after these two simple questions, uh, we will be moving towards a different type of question. Thora sa exciting question solve karenge. It's page number 350 on your section B. It's page 350 and it's relating to options. Page 350. 350. We'll move towards page number 350. 350. Any confusion? Any problems? 
are there any confusion any problems clear guys just raise your hands if you are able to understand everything what am i am speaking right now agar koi confusion koi problem nahi hai if you getting each and everything what i'm teaching right now just raise your hands if you finding it easier just raise your hands probably after the school get started hum yahi sessions karne zyada better rahega right uh let me mark the attendance first um akhyan is having a session right now mahin zainab is having a session ali javed maryam mustaq rabab arham yasir chishti thank you for raising your hand yasir namir ansari ibad istiak rafia and this is exosle i guess who is this exosle exosle is i guess can i just view this picture okay who is this exosle afnan alvi is attending the session moiz navid is here alfia are you able to understand and listen to me carefully please raise your hand i'm not sure you are active or not aswar salman maruk mashal farrukh hamad hussain tari mikbal yes sir all right all right guys let's move on to the next question we will be doing page number 350 now 350 jo last question humne solve kiya tha kindly us pe aap log heading dal dijiyega break even analysis and profit break even analysis and profit volume chart उस पर टॉप पर हेडिंग डाल दीजिएगा ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस एंड प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम चार्ट एंड नाउ वी विल बी मूविंग टूवर्ड्स पेज नंबर थ्री फाइव जीरो पेज नंबर All right, let's start with the work, guys. Crickton manufactures a single product, the Crick. The following information relates to one unit of Crick. Selling price is thirty-five. Variable production cost is thirteen point five. Variable production cost means the cost which is relating to production, and by behavior, by function, it is a production-related cost, and by behavior, it is a variable cost. Fixed production cost is again given on per unit basis. So, जब भी fixed production cost या कोई भी fixed cost per unit basis पर दी भी होगी, we will be multiplying it with the current output level to get the total amount of fixed cost. Then we have variable selling cost. Apart from production, we also have to pay for selling the each unit. To in order to sell a each unit, we need to pay for a variable cost of one point five. 
and then we have fixed selling cost of dollar one per unit. It is again given on per unit basis. We will totally calculate the total. Krypton produces and sells 800 kicks a week. Our weekly output level is 800. So, if we calculate our weekly fixed cost, then what will our weekly fixed production cost be? It's going to be 3.5 per unit into the weekly output level of 800 units. And we also have a fixed selling cost of 1, which is multiplied by 800 units. It's $800. So, two types of fixed cost are fixed production cost is 3.5 into 800, that is 2800, and fixed selling cost is 1 into 800, 800. So, what is our total fixed cost? 2800 plus 800 is 3600. What is our total variable cost? Variable cost, how much is it, sir? Variable cost, two elements are one is 13.5, and the other is. It's 13.5 plus 1.5. The variable cost is 15. 13.5 <coughs> plus 1.5. 13.5 is production related variable cost and selling related variable cost is 1.5. The total is 15. Break even ke liye, first of all, we'll calculate contribution per unit. And how do we calculate contribution per unit? It's selling price minus variable cost. What is our selling price? It's 35 minus variable cost is 15. So contribution per unit comes to 20. Total fixed cost 3600 divided by contribution per unit. 3600 divided by contribution is dollar 20 per unit. Right, guys? That means now we can calculate the contrib we can calculate the contribution fixed uh, break-even point in units. That is 3600 divided by 35 minus 15, that is 20. So, weekly basis per, we need to sell at least 180 units. We need to sell how many units? We need to sell 180 units. At 180 units, we will be having break even. 180 units. Uh, we were just required to calculate break even in units, not in sales value. Now, the next requirement is break even point in revenue or value. So, break even in units multiply by selling price. That's it. Break even in units multiply by selling price will give us break even in value. Break even in units is how much? Sir, it's 180. Multiply by selling price is what? 35. 180 into 35. If we calculate break even in value, it's six thousand three hundred dollars. It's dollar three six thousand three hundred. Make sure that you are showing the calculations or the formulas, right? Formula we have to use nine. That is break even in value is break even in units multiplied by selling price. Next is margin of safety in revenue. So margin of safety in revenue calculate करने का एक तरीका है. Margin of safety in units multiplied by selling price. But the other, other calculation is total revenue minus break even in value. Total revenue minus break even in value ke zariye we can calculate margin of safety in dollars. Total revenue minus break even in value. So what is our total revenue? It's 800 units multiplied by 35. So what is our total revenue guys? Total revenue is 28,000. Minus break even in value is 6300. So, what is margin of safety in dollars? Margin of safety in dollars is 21,700. It's 21,700, which is margin of safety in dollars or in value. The next is calculate margin of safety as a percentage. So, if you have units or value, the percentage answer is the same. So we have margin of safety in value divided by total sales in 200. Margin of safety in dollars divided by total sales in dollars in 200. We can calculate margin of safety as a percentage. That is margin of safety in dollars is 21,700. Right? Divided by 28,000 in 200. Line so that you know that we are dividing this thing, right? 
21,700 divided by 28,000 into 100, that makes 77.5 percent. This is margin of safety as a percentage of sales. <clears throat> now you see my workings include everything. Jahan pe dollars lagane hai, dollars hai, jahan units lagane hai, units hai. Aur jahan percentage use karna hai, wahan percentage use kar raha Got it, guys. Got it. Next. The next part. Crichton has four different machines that are used in the production of the kick. One of the machine has broken down, causing the production to stop completely. Right, char machines we have a product ko gazarte hain. Our product char different machines ko use ho kar produce hota hai. Bich mein ek hamari machinery ka breakdown ho gaya. That means usne hamari production ko completely stop kar diya. Bhaspan mein kehte tu na? Ek nakra toot gaya, babi bhaiya ka mu toot gaya, sooj gaya. Right, ek nakra toot gaya, bhai ka mu sooj gaya. To yaha par bhi yehi hua hai. Our moves are gone, we can't carry production out because in our one machine has been huddled, has been broken down, which has been completely stopped. The company will be without the machine for a period of four weeks. Underline for a period of four weeks. Four weeks until we don't have a machine and we have two different alternatives. Now, as you have your college has been closed for two weeks. So, do you have an alternative to two weeks? If the college is closed, then what is the alternative? That, sir, online to start studying, one option. What will be the other option? Sir, call the house, call the house, call the house. Right? So, two options can be here. So, the owners have also two options. If we don't have a machine for four weeks, this means it's not only for you guys. It's not only for us as a teacher. It's not only for us as a teacher. It's not only for us as a production. It's also for the Krypton. Your problem is only two weeks. The government has shut down the colleges for two weeks. But for Krypton, it's not a problem for two weeks, but it's for four weeks. For four weeks, Krypton will not be a machine. What will it do? The owner has two alternatives. The first alternative is lease a machine. Lease means that there is no higher purchase here. There is no installment here. There is no lease means rental. It means operating lease. It means rental. It means rental. Lease a machine, rent a machine at the cost of two thousand per week. Har week hume kitna rental dena padega sir two thousand dollars. Iska matlab per week aur char week tak hamare paas machine hi nahi hai, to hamare paas total rental cost kitni hogi two thousand into four that makes eight thousand. Staff will need to be trained on the new machine. This will cost three thousand. Ye one time cost hai hamari. हर वीक हम स्टाफ को ट्रेनिंग नहीं देंगे एक ही दफा ट्रेनिंग होगी डेट मींस चार वीक्स पे टोटल हमारी ट्रेनिंग कॉस्ट कितनी है थ्री थाउजेंड इट्स नॉट पर वीक इट्स वन टाइम सिंगल टाइम वी हैव टू पे ट्रेनिंग पूरे चार वीक्स में हम एक दफा ट्रेनिंग देंगे जिसकी कॉस्ट कितनी होगी इट्स गोइंग टू बी कॉस्टिंग अस थ्री थाउजेंड प्रोडक्शन विल रिड्यूस फ्रॉम करंट लेवल ऑफ एट हंड्रेड यूनिट्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट्स ईच वीक जहां हम पर वीक 800 units produce karte te, we will only be producing 500 units. So 500 units agar hum produce kar rahe hai, to 4 hafto mein, jahaan hum 800 ke hesaap se 3200 units produce kar sakte hai. 500 into 4, 2000 units. Now you see, agar humari classes physically ho rahi hoti, college mein ho rahi hoti, to probably jo gante hum online pahar rahe hai, उससे ज़्यादा हम अपना आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस कर सकते थे, ज़्यादा कॉन्सेप्ट कवर अप कर सकते थे, but since हमारी क्लासेस ऑनलाइन हैं, तो प्रॉब्ली हमारी प्रोडक्शन के अंदर, हमारी एफिशिएंसी के अंदर भी डिक्लाइन आ रहा है, हम कम क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सकते हैं, the same problem is with Crichton, Crichton जहाँ 800 into 430, 200 यूनिट्स बना सकत Option number two, we will talk about the option number two, but first we will go to the requirement. It says, calculate the profit for four weeks if Crichton decides to lease a machine. Now, you can get out of any way you can get out of any way. You have to calculate that in four weeks, what will be our profit if option number one is implemented 
ऑप्शन वन में वट आर वी डूइंग वी आर एक्चुअली लीजिंग अ मशीन राइट लीजिंग अ मशीन सो स्टार्ट द वर्किंग आईज लेट सी आप लोग कितना सॉल्व कर सकते then we'll continue the walking in 90 seconds All right, kids. Um, uh, after ninety seconds, now. now we will be sharing the results of come if we are produce 2000 units instead of 3200 units the selling price would be remaining same as dollar 35 per unit right aap isko total se bhi kar sakte hain you can do it on per unit basis we will be adopting an approach of per unit not on total selling price per unit is dollar 35 माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट दो है हमारे पास सर वन इज प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विच इज थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव एंड अदर इज अवर वेरिएबल सेलिंग कॉस्ट विच इज वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट मेक्स डॉलर फिफ्टीन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट विल रिमेन एट डॉलर ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई आउटपुट लेवल वट इज अवर आउटपुट लेवल सर फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट इन टू फोर वी मीन टू थाउजेंड यूनिट्स So twenty into two thousand. What is our total contribution? The total contribution is total contribution is forty thousand. Less existing fixed cost. Pele, we will be deducting the existing fixed cost. What is our existing fixed cost? That was. Thirty-six hundred, right? Thirty-six hundred per week. Output level come on a safe fixed cost. Come, nahi hogi. It's going to be thirty-six hundred per week. It's going to be thirty-six hundred per week multiplied by four weeks. That makes fourteen thousand four hundred. Less lease rental, lease cost. पहले लीजिंग कॉस्ट नहीं थी अब लीज कॉस्ट भी है वट इज लीज कॉस्ट लीज कॉस्ट इज टू थाउजेंड पर वीक टू थाउजेंड इंटू फोर इज वॉट एट थाउजेंड फोर 
sir then we have training cost that is only one time training cost kitni hai that is 3000 so contribution mein se humne apni existing fixed cost minus ki wo bhi hum incur karenge आउटपुट लेवल के कम होने से वो कॉस्ट कम नहीं होगी हम लीजिंग कॉस्ट पे करेंगे 8000 ट्रेनिंग कॉस्ट पे करेंगे 3000 सो इफ वी डिडक्ट फ्रॉम आवर टोटल कंट्रीब्यूशन 40000 माइनस एग्जिस्टिंग फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ 14400 माइनस रेंटल कॉस्ट ऑफ 8000 माइनस ट्रेनिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ 3000 सो आवर प्रॉफिट वुड बी 14600 आवर प्रॉफिट इज गोइंग टू बी 14600 So whenever you are solving these type of option related question, make sure that you are going through the questions or you understand the concept of fixed and variable cost. That variable cost per unit remain constant and fixed cost in total remain constant despite the fact that now we are reducing our activity level. The fixed cost will remain same on per week basis. That is thirty six hundred. Before moving on towards the option number two, first of all, we'll have a quick question answer session. If you guys have any problem, any trouble, let's see what you guys are up to. Yes, yes, Kilos, you have any problem, any confusion? Um, sir, Asfia is also with me. Mark her attendance. Yes, obviously. अगर आपको स्पीकर एक्सेस चाहिए तो जस्ट रेज योर हैंड सो दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली आस्क अ क्वेश्चन If you are unable to type it, you, you can just ask a question. I will be giving you mic access, the speaker access. Just raise your hands. Yes. Any questions, kids? Aram Shahbuddin with the thumbs up. Yes, guy, you got it, man. You got it. Any other who just need a? Yes, Akhyan. Akhyan, very good. Give it up, guy. Zishan, beta, everything clear? लारेब जावेद Speak on it. All right, guys. Let's start with the work. Let's start with option number two. Option number one, I'm nickel dia. Now, option number two. Buy in the cracks from a competitor. That means, if machinery breakdown ho gayi hai, we cannot produce the output level. Instead of renting out the machine, what we can do? 
we can outsource these units we can purchase these units from an outside supplier right each crick will cost 26.25 now remember the fact whenever we are purchasing the units from an outside supplier we are not required to pay for any production related variable cost because since we are not producing ourselves we are not required to pay for production related cost lekin fixed production cost hame phir bhi pay karni padegi irrespective ki hum koi output produce kar rahe hain ya nahi kar rahe we have to pay for fixed production cost but we don't have to pay for any variable production cost lekin sir what about the variable selling expenses तो गाइस हम प्रोड्यूस खुद नहीं कर रहे बेच तो हम खुद ही रहना है यार सेल तो हम खुद ही करेंगे तो प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट नहीं लगेगी लेकिन सेलिंग रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वी नीड टू पे वी नीड स्टिल टू पे द वेरिएबल सेलिंग रिलेटेड कॉस्ट बट नॉट द वेरिएबल प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड कॉस्ट द कॉम्पिटिटर इज एबल टू सप्लाई एट हंड्रेड यूनिट ईच वीक खुद प्रोड्यूस करने से हमारे पास आउटपुट लेवल कट डाउन हो रहा था कॉम्पिटिटर से लेने से एक एडवांटेज ये है कि एटलीस्ट हम अपनी मैक्सिमम सप्लाई मार्केट में कंटिन्यू रखेंगे बिकॉज द कॉम्पिटिटर इज एबल टू प्रोवाइड अस विद 800 यूनिट्स पर वीक व्हिच मींस फोर वीक में वी विल बी गेटिंग अ टोटल सप्लाई ऑफ 3200 यूनिट्स एंड विल चार्ज क्रिक्टन डॉलर 50 फॉर ईच 100 यूनिट्स एक और हमारी एडिशनल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट आ गई है एक तो हमें प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट नहीं देनी लेकिन परचेज रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट देनी है और डिलीवरी रिलेटेड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट भी है एंड व्हाट इज दैट वी हैव टू पे डॉलर 50 फॉर एवरी 100 यूनिट्स सो 50 डिवाइडेड बाय 100 व्हाट इज आवर पर यूनिट डिलीवरी कॉस्ट इट्स गोइंग टू बी 0.5 पर यूनिट इट्स गोइंग टू बी 0.5 पर यूनिट बिकॉज़ डॉलर 50 इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ डिलीवरी फॉर हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स 100 यूनिट्स तो पर यूनिट हमारी डिलीवरी कॉस्ट इज हाउ मच इट्स 0.5 तो अगर हमें पूरे 4 वीक्स में 3200 यूनिट्स मिलते हैं तो हमारी डिलीवरी कॉस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी 3200 यूनिट्स इनटू 0.5 दैट इज 1600 इज गोइंग टू बी आवर डिलीवरी कॉस्ट राइट गाइस सो the option number 2 now on the next page if you see the requirement is to calculate the profit for four week if crickton decided to buy the product from a competitor agar hum competitor se ye product lete hain to ab hamara profit kya hoga so you have 90 seconds now to start working for this thing 90 seconds
or a kid's store selling price per unit is now going to be 35. Since we are not producing the units by our own self, that means we are not required to pay for variable production costs, but we have to pay for the purchase price. It's going to be our variable cost, 26.25. Selling expenses, variable selling expenses, variable selling overheads, which are dollar 1.5 per unit, right? These are going to stay the same, variable selling expenses or variable selling cost, which is 1.5. Delivery cost $100 for every for $50 for every 100 units. That makes 0 0.5 per unit. So after deducting everything from our selling price, the contribution is 6.75. Output was going to be 800 into four weeks. 800 units into four weeks. That means total is 3,200. Contribution per unit into output level. That will give us total contribution minus fixed production cost. Effective, hum output nahi bhi produce kar rahe. We have to pay for the fixed production cost. And what is our fixed production cost? It's 3600 multiplied by four weeks. It's 3600 multiplied by four weeks. It's going to be 14,400, guys. 14,400. Minus fixed selling cost, which is 800 into four weeks, it's going to be 3,200. So if we deduct all these things, our profit is going to be 21,600 minus 14,400 minus 3,200. It's 7,200. Uh, let's work out on the calculation. I guess there is a calculation error. So selling price is 35 minus variable cost. Purchase cost is 26.25 minus variable selling cost is 1.5 minus delivery cost is 0.5. This is 6.75 multiplied by 3,200 units. That is 21,600. Sir, so it's not 3,600. It's 2,800 per month. Because 800 is selling, selling fixed cost. Production fixed cost is 2,800. 2800 into 4. Because we are fixed costs separately. It's 2800 into 4, which is 11,200. And then we have fixed selling costs, which we have separately. 800 into 4. We have to combine 3600 into 4. Bhi kar sakte and the total profit comes to 7200. Right, kids? Moving on towards the next part. State two advantages. If Crichton decides to buy the Crick from a competitor rather than leasing the machine, if we purchase from outside, then what will we get advantages? Milenge? Now, if we purchase from outside, the profit is 7200. And the profit of making it is 14500. That means, from outside, we can't maximize the profit. But we can satisfy our maximum demand market. Mein satisfy kar sakte that means, number one, the business would be able to supply or satisfy its maximum demand in the market. The business would be able to satisfy or the business would be able to satisfy its maximum demand in the market. The business would be able to the business would be able to satisfy its maximum demand in the market. The business would be able to satisfy its maximum demand in the market. Number two, the business will not lose its market share. Number two, the business would not lose its market share. Next, the business can save time and cost by not providing training the business could save time and cost by not providing the training all right guys uh, now what are the disadvantages if we purchase the product from an outside supplier we need to show the reliability on the outside supplier. The disadvantage kya hai? Number one, greater dependency and greater dependence and 
reliability on outside supplier dependency on outside supplier dependency on outside supplier dependency on outside supplier and the disadvantage would be profit will not be maximized profit will not be maximized number 3 quality will be compromised quality would be compromised right so we'll move towards the question answer sessions now so anyone with the questions guys anyone with the questions so didn't get the calculation for delivery cost guys calculation for delivery cost is easier it's they are charging dollar 50 for every 100 units agar 50 on every 100 units so per unit is what 50 divided by 100 that is 0.5 so we have a sociology class all right we will be ending our session it's okay uh page number 307 hum jo jana chahte hain wo chale jaye i will be moving towards page number 307 right uh we can move towards page number 307 those who want to quit they can those who have a class they can uh, review the video later uh we will be moving towards the last question which is page number 307 after within 5 minutes time now within 5 minutes time now all right kids um the same session will be followed tomorrow we are ending session now uh we will continue uh, because of the clashes and we have another class right now uh, so we will continue this particular session tomorrow there will be two as sessions uh, one for the marginal costing and one for the overhead costing so we will be joining in the session tomorrow at 12 o'clock right or i will be updating you the time exactly all right guys take care everyone see you guys later please solve maximum questions of this topic